Hello people, welcome back to the final third. Sorry for the sorry for missing you lot last week. Um things are out of our hand, but we're gonna jump right in. Biggest match of the weekend, Man United versus Brighton 3-1. Right, what? Oh, we're a bit cheap. We know. Wait, what? I didn't even know you played, bro. We did, oh, you didn't know? Oh, no, I'm bad, bad. We'll go to a different game, man. <laughs> but Man City, Liverpool. Start there. Yeah, let's start there. Start there. Let's start hey, there. Uh, 3 1 win for Liverpool. Big statement in terms of the um, title race. It's not over. It's not over. It's not over. It's not over. It's not What's that? Over. What's that? Ooh, eight this points. revolution will be televised. It's not over. <laughs> eight points. Eight points. It's not over. It's nine man. points. There's twenty six games left. It's not over. So. There's twenty six games left. I can't lie. For me, it feels over. Banking on that BVD injury. And then we That's not happening, man. It's not happening. Have you seen the durability on that guy? It's actually yeah. a good one, man. Yeah. Yeah. I, don't, I, actually love Van Dijk as well. I don't see how it's gonna happen because even feels different to last. Like last season, it felt like Liverpool could drop points. This season, it feels like you don't know where that loss coming you from. You don't like. We literally don't know where that's coming look, from. Villa been the closest, but look how that turned out. Fam, 97 so minutes. Like the bump Come on, man. Game as well, man. Leicester, last minute win, like, the games that they... That win. happened last season, though. What? I don't know. Um, the last minute winners and, like... Nah, but this season is different because lot. you haven't lost yet, man. Looking it's from the outside, yeah. it looks different. You would know the difference. Well, we didn't lose till... What, January? January last season. Mm. Still. So what's to say? But Obviously, I, f I, I, I hear what you lot are saying in it, but maybe it's me like trying to be level-headed and... That's what I'm saying, looking from the outside, it yeah, is different. From, from here, it feels this, it's this it's, cold, it's, cold it's on this side. It's, it's cold on this side of the road. Um, big talking point in the first 10 minutes. Penalty, which went to VAR, wasn't given. What do you lot think? Penalty, no penalty? 100% penalty. I just want to know, yeah, because the, the thing that's making me laugh about all the people that are saying penalty. The boy hit Bernardo Silva's hand first. So how could it possibly be a penalty? This if someone can justify that. Okay for me, then. Okay. I, why I'm gonna well, let me even just finish my point. You know, if the ball went through to Sterling and he scored, VAR would have disallowed the goal because there's a blatant rule now that's been made. Fact. Even if, a, if even if it's an accidental handball, yeah, and at least a goal. Yeah. They're not gonna give the goal. Okay. So why so should it be a penalty? Okay, so okay, that's that applies just to that rule, but. What it does, what we don't know, what's unclear is that the ball hit Bernardo Silva's hand and it wasn't given as a handball, like by Trent. But if you gave Trent as a handball, would the penalty stand because it hit Bernardo's first? If they're saying Bernardo's is not a handball but Trent's is, the penalty will stand and they get the penalty. For me, no, for me, do you understand what I'm trying to say? For, for me personally, it was a penalty because of the fact that it was kicked against Bernardo Silva's hand. It wasn't like the way the way it came at Trent's hand, his hand was outside of yeah, the podium. Where, That's where? the first thing. It was kicked against Bernardo's hand, yeah. and then it went to Trent's hand. It, hand is there. Mm -hmm. It's had enough distance to travel. Yeah. Like for me, it looked like a, on, pen, on review, and it's a penalty. It's a penalty. It looked if like they a gave penalty. that as a penalty, you wouldn't be angry. Would no, I would be angry because of the in way it happened. Error, in this error, in this because of error. the way it happened, because. Like seen you, a lot said, less. you said it, it was kicked at Bernardo's hand. Mm -hmm. It doesn't matter. The rule is nah, simple. Them, from short distance, they don't give like short distance. The distance between Bernardo and no, uh, it's not even about the Lovren distance or whatever. Exactly. They, My thing is this: when um, Bernardo Silva's one wasn't given as a handball, yeah. And if they give Trent as a handball, it's a penalty. But if they didn't give both of them as a handball and somehow it trickled to Sterling and scored, it's a no go because it hit Bernardo before. Do you understand? So the laws are a bit shaky because it doesn't lead directly to if it doesn't lead directly to a goal Bernardo's one's not given as a handball and no, that's but not the case just, I think that the is referee the just played on yeah, like, that's just a he, no, he didn't play advantage he just said he didn't he actually did, play he just waved it off he like, didn't like, actually he didn't actually play advantage if both of them are handballs you stop it no but I'm, what I'm saying is the incident happened it hit Bernardo it hits Trent the ref waved it off and played on so he wasn't given handball either way basically yeah yeah, but so what's I the think problem? My problem is Trent's is a handball and Bernardo's is not. No, nah, I don't think so because by the rules that have been presented by the league now, if a ball 
even if it's an accident leads to a goal. So you're saying Wait, so both of them are handballs or so none of them are handballs. Yeah, that's saying, what I'm saying. Are you saying that the ref didn't give the handball because of the um didn't give the handball for Trent because of the fact it hit on Bernardo Silva's hand first? No, I don't know if that's his reason and only, only the referee can say. But I'm saying if Bernardo's is a hand um if Trent's is a handball, Bernardo's is a handball by the letter of the law that they've introduced. I think that's what I'm saying. I think we're gonna have to disagree agree to disagree on that one. Wait. But on the overall seat performance, I feel like it was a crap performance for no on the whole for that they let themselves down in that match. <laughs> well, I don't know, um, because the match it wasn't even like the match was won or lost in the midfield, but it was just firstly City weren't potent. Yeah. They had a couple chances when they really weren't potent. Aguero was off form, but now, I don't want to be harsh on them because if the pen, if they get the penalty, penalty it's a whole a different new game. Match, but you but can say that about literally you've everything. Adapt, you've, got you've got to adapt to that situation. The way the, the way Aguero stopped attacking the ball and ran to the referee was so shameless. I was yeah, so was pissed off because he stopped. He stopped yeah, and he took like he stopped. a striking instinct. Like, you got a, That's how obvious the handball must have been. Nah, but you stop. play on. You play but on you every stop. time. They always stopped though, Khan. That's um, not as, professional. As a okay, fair enough. But okay, as um as the game for its. The game itself, um, I just feel City's midfield was absent and Pep got the whole setup wrong because ideally you're putting KDB on paper in the midfield three, but on the pitch he was roaming. Yeah. So it was just Rodri and Gundogan. Gundogan, who gets found out in any other team, he's average. And Rodri, I don't know right that. now, Gundogan's average. He's, he's and not, Rodri, right now, the jury's out on Rodri, in it? Because I just wasn't big. It's just not, they're just a coaster. Kind of like how Jr. was in that first season, but we'll see. So let's give him time. But anyway, for this I mean, game... thing against passes, man. I won't get nah, for this game, for me... Nah, because yeah. for me, it's... Rodri and Fabinho are playing the same position, but you can see the levels. Yeah, I, you, can, I, I, you understand I, what I mean? A year ago, we were laughing at Fabinho. That's though. what I'm saying. So, That's why I said give him time because Fabinho, this position, Fabinho, mm. um, Jorginho, Rodri now. Let's see, maybe he'll rise into it. As for the City, just City set up as a whole. Now, the back four. Angelina, I felt sorry for him. I felt, <laughs> I felt sorry for him. I feel like John Stones like is, not, all right John Stones is not good. He's not. Yeah, John Stones yeah, And then John Stones is not good. Kyle Walker. Was, how can Kyle Walker makes me laugh. The defense, like Kyle Walker that. just makes me laugh because his strength is recovery tackles. Yeah, because he's fast. And that can't be your strength because going forward you're not amazing. <laughs> Defending you it's specifically, it's, it's specifically just recovery tackles. And me for being Fernandinho, is so clear of these like defensively, he looked like crazy. He looked like a prime centre back. He looked like a centre back in that game. And he wasn't room. playing that position. Um, where does he go from here, basically? Is there, is there Ed, Edison needs to come, come back. They're, chase, they're chasing. They're chasing. How did they get back in the title race? They win. That's all they. The they thing win. is, we know City is gonna go on a mad run eventually. We know City is gonna win games. For me, the issue is that I think Pep brought this on, on himself in it because I feel like but arrogant. The fact that you lost company, we knew, we know company's best years were behind him, but at the end of the day, he's still your leader. He's still like, the he was guy. So clutch in that title run, so in, in the running. You can't just let that this go and then most recent crazy. one was so impressive. It was so impressive. It was so, such a clutch, clutch. Came on Superman joint. People, because he, in the last two years, you barely see him play always injured. Yeah. He put together that run. Maybe what he does behind the scenes as well is big. Exactly. He's just a leader. So it felt, in a sense, this felt inevitable, innit? It, it felt, it felt a bit inevitable in terms of them going to Anfield with Stones and Fernandinho at their back. Mm. And not getting Bravo turned and goal as well. And Bravo. No confident. The thing is with Bravo, I feel like he's getting unfairly criticised, man. Nah, but you no. just like he's not good. He's not good. But it's one of those things he's where if you have a bad like, shot stopper, Allison he's, and Bravo in goal, a, which one inspires the confidence? No, no, he's no, a no, seriously poor shot stopper. No, but seriously do you think Edison was saving that for being hundred percent? No, no, he wasn't. I feel like people are taking rocket, man. People are taking credit off Fabinho. That was a rocket. And going straight to Bravo as usual. They're taking credit off a Liverpool player. It's as, usual. Usual. as usual, they're taking credit off a Liverpool player. You know why I don't like that? That's why I think it's bad to me. How do you get to the back side? You know your shot. And when I'm saying, shit, man. You know, you know why no one, you know why everyone gets tired of Liverpool fans as a whole? <laughs> they're so insecure. <laughs> You they are I, the you most. Think I care. Inse- you lot are the most you insecure. Think I care. Liverpool fans really are the I most care. insecure. Really, really, no, really. Really. I care about what you think of me. Yeah, you don't care about an insecure person. Why the unbearables? Why the unbearables? I don't care. Oh, the top rank in the north 
and the Liverpool fans down London, they're so insecure. <laughs> That's why every time for Firmino scores, they'll be like, oh, no, no, no. And they'll be telling you, like, nah, you're not making me laugh. Every you time, talk about Firmino so all insecure. the time. Man said I was still trying to talk about Firmino man said, so much. Man said we're taking it's away it. from Fabinho's strap. Did I just, just give him the clout like two seconds ago about how he met Rodri? I want to do it and I see man talking about Bravo. Every week, you don't need reassurance on so many platforms. Oh, you lot cuss Liverpool, you talk about us more. You need re- I've never. Nah, and Arsenal get grilled. Arsenal that, get grilled the most, nah, yeah. But these are need reassurance so much. It's, it's that needy child. Fact, nah, you, need to, you, need to, you need to think about where Liverpool fans have come from. Oh my Because God. of the fact that they've never been like raved for basically their whole our life. childhood. Our now, life. They, now, they, now they've got a sticky in our Every faces. time they need reassurance. I understand. I'm, my point stands. Why don't you so rate Gerard? Go with a Gerard Ben and Scones. Like, bro. <laughs> Wait, what? No, man. Your class hey, moving on, on, man. Yeah. Moving on. We're moving on to another game. Leicester versus Arsenal. Yeah, now nah, I'm going to enjoy talking about this one. Grim Reaper's knocking at Emery's door, man. Um, What do you think? How long, is, how long does he have? Until the end of the season? He should have been gone yesterday, mate. Oh. Big talk from behind Big the camera. Big talk from behind the camera. Do Big your talk. job, yeah? <laughs> <laughs> nah, Emery's got to go tonight. Every day, every day, we, every day we're going to record. I just, if you ask me about Emery, I say he's got to leave today as we finish recording because he, he, man. You know, and I blame you, innit? Fair because enough. ever since that day you opened my eyes, you said, no, nah, we were, and we were on a run then. Tune into that TF3 episode last season. Grant said, on the road, though, you're playing well, but where can Emery take you? Because this is his ceiling, 22 games unbeaten and you're still like 4th or 3rd. This is his ceiling, can he take you better? I said... Oh. Yeah, sometimes you have to my, ha- my eyes open because I don't... Picture. Emery, all he's done is in- introduced the pass out the back and now they've allowed the centre-backs to be in the box. It's like, it's a, it's a calamity because it's even worse. <sighs> for me, Arsenal, for, in, terms of, in, terms of the, in terms of the match, oh, they changed the 3 at the back. Um, you looked a bit more solid, I guess, but nah, it's yeah. one of those ones where you, you know, when you step in shit well, and you bring it to, into the house, you and you try to hide like there's somebody's gonna smell it. Yeah, you, know, you can you can try and change it. Like, word, word, you can word, make word, it, word, you word. can hide it, but word. you're not gonna. Still, the, the funk, you're gonna get the found funk out. is still there. But I'm just looking at your three at the back though. It's Louise Chambers and Horden. Your know, sad part. Club. Sad part is if you give us an injured Bay and a lover and you lot's worst, not worst, we'll take it. No, hundred percent. We'll yeah, take it. Lot of teams will take it. Back. We'll take it. If we give us that. a small in at your cousin. Huh? We'll take it. Yeah, hundred percent. We're at the bottom of the barrel in terms of defensive, <laughs> a defensive unit. Like it's so bad. Yeah, and bad. you Arsenal fans that have been saying when Bellerin and Tierney, when Tierney comes back, we're good. What you are saying when Bellerin comes back? What are you talking about? <laughs> He's not acting like it's 2013 again, man. <laughs> Bellerin is Let me tell you when bro. Bellerin comes back. He's what's Bellerin dead, gonna bro. come back and do? Bellerin now all good. he had was a pace and a and a um, acceleration going forward now, and he's had a serious injury. You think he's still gonna have that yard of pace? Very enough, man. But we can't talk about this match without talking about Leicester. Fucking, yeah. they're doing amazing right Black now. Love. They've got a manager who's instilled an actual philosophy like a lot of managers talk about philosophies or talk about what they want to do they just talk they don't do it that's what Rogers, he, look at the contrast Rogers, man between Rogers actually and, do, and like, and you can see what the results of what they're doing on the training pitch is actually showing on the pitch you can't you can't devalue that or you can't understand that when what you're doing on the training pitch is translating onto the onto the thing and <clears throat> big thing is which I saw on Twitter the other day, which is crazy. Leicester literally won a title in 2016, dismantled their squad, and they're back in the top four again. They're not back oh, in the top four that. again. Well, okay, but they're, they're, chal- they're challenging. Are they not challenging? I don't even think they can grab it. You know, can which one of these jokers is going to get consistent? That's just, that's just a sign for all the clubs that are saying they're rebuilding. Yeah. It don't take this long to rebuild. Don't go, let them go, sell you jeans. Don't let them sell you jeans. You just, need, a, you just need an owner who loves the good club. Literally. No, you just need a vision. Need a vision. You know, owner that loves the club. No, because if the owner has a vision, it comes from the top and it works its way yeah. down. Because the top teams, look at their owners. They care for the club yeah. and they get rid of you if they don't. Because Liverpool, there's a time they had a bit of. Liverpool got angry about a, like a stand or something. Was it when like your yeah. one of your stands no, were yeah, working yeah, on the something? Ticket, 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 ticket prices, prices and they left in the seventh minute. Pattern yeah. quick. Yeah. West Ham. When David Gold weren't spending money and they were pointing to him and Sky were like, oh, it's quite scary how they're doing it. It's like cultish behaviour. They don't care. Straight away, <laughs> pattern, next season. Splashed out by Arsenal. Quickly, quickly, we're going to talk about the Aubameyang statement that he put out on Instagram. Um, if you didn't know, um, Arsenal apparently are unhappy with his relations with 
AFTV and troops, and he put out a statement saying, I'm gonna basically talk to you. I, I think, wanna talk what? to you. What? You're a big man. Fam, I think this whole situation just highlights the state of Arsenal, man. How are we talking about your leading striker, your captain, and his relationship with a fan TV channel? Like, it's just perfect. Arsenal should be ashamed of Go focus on getting three yeah, points, it's man. It's just perfect, like. Because yeah. you, you're all vocal. Just, Look how quickly they released a statement. When Shaq was throwing shirts on the floor, how long did they take? If, yeah, oh, for me, oh. for me, it feels like, for maybe, um, people will say maybe I'm taking it too seriously, but, I feel like people are taking on the captain's R band without like actually accepting what it comes what it comes to um the task that come with being a captain. Shaka Aubameyang, when you're like when you're the captain, for me you can't be doing since, like, since Henri left the, this, the captain's R band's been toilet paper. You can't paper. be doing things like it's this. Not, it's not it's not it's not captain's R band's been absolute tissue paper. Maybe. Dog roll, dog roll. <laughs> it means nothing to the club. Captain's armband. We only have a captain in Arsenal because legally in the Premier you're supposed to have a captain. <laughs> you don't need a captain. Arsenal never had a captain for about a decade. And I don't even mean like he ain't got the character, like it's not shouting on the pitch or leading by example. We just don't have a captain. We don't feel like we need one. And Fair that's enough. fine. We're that's how on. our club set up. We're special. <laughs> <laughs> so you don't understand. Moving it. on. Man United versus Brighton, the biggest game of the weekend, which is fair for some. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Politics. But um, every, every, everyone watches as much? You know what? Obviously, you, you watch Villa, innit? Yeah, I was watching the West yeah, um, West Midlands Derby. Yeah, man, I was watching the Derby, man. Oh, West but it's just me. Uh, you think I was gonna stream uh, United? United versus Brighton. That's a big game. Um, yeah, I'll talk about it then. Good performance. <laughs> <laughs> um, good performance, to be fair. Um, yeah, you know, Mister Arnold, good United performance. They're rare, so you know. That's on his you. level. Him and Grand Potter are like the same. <laughs> <laughs> same, and Grand Potter's good as well. Um, <laughs> <laughs> level. Um, Rashford was good today. I'm um, good yesterday. <laughs> Just I'm laughing at my club, but seriously, I'm trying to talk. <laughs> Rashford was good yesterday. Um, you missed the open goal, though. I'm trying to stop laughing at my club, man. The hell do you not think this is? How are you laughing at me? One free one. Stop laughing. You have some respect. That's some damn respect. That's some damn respect. That's some damn respect. That's some damn respect. You hardly win that day. So me and my team. Let me talk my shit. Let me talk about it. You must sit down for a brand match. Hey, moving on, man. Yeah, 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 man. What's this best? Fair enough, man. Wait, you one one draw between between Spurs and Sheffield United is bigger than United. Nah, this platform's going down the drain, man. Fair enough. Fair enough. Talk about that, man. Um. Hey guys, thanks for watching the final third. For more football analysis or sports content, please subscribe to our YouTube channel, The Final Third, or follow us on Twitter at The Final Third underscore.